Hi, my name is Ibrahim Kebe. I'm originally from Sierra Leone. I'm the youth president for the Organization of African Community in Western Australia. I've been here for quite a long time now. I do study politics, international relations, and counterterrorism. And um, been in Australia for quite a long time. We've seen some of the things that we need to embrace, things that we need to support, and how we can come together. Australia is a very multicultural community, which have different people from various backgrounds. We just started coming to Australia for the past 15 years, but there's a lot of things that we need to embrace and we need to focus on. First is integration. We need to integrate ourselves, embrace the unity, and okay, I'm trying to make the community be lively. Australia have a lot of opportunity for young people. With the young people, we have a lot of things that we can do. We are looking for something that can benefit the community. For instance, we want more lawyers, we want more doctors, people in the public sector. But how can we do this thing? It's going to be a while because it's not something that comes automatically. We need to come together as a community. The African community been doing a great work. Even though there's a lot of issues who have been heard, the media have given us a bad name, portraying African people in the bad things. But I think it's the right time for us to unite, for us to bring ourselves together. One of the key initiatives that I started in Western Australia is Stop the Violence Campaign. We want to stop some of this issue they've been talking about. People been saying African people, they're fighters, they like fighting. But we're not. We got lawyers, we got doctors, we got people that are professors in this community. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to identify key, some of the key problems in the community. First, we got teenage pregnancy. In a reality form, we've seen it. Some of these things, we need to address it. Isolation, it's another key problem in our community. It's something that we need to put an end to. Peer pressure, for instance, now if you look how many of our boys, how many of our brothers are getting influenced by bad friends. We have culture, we have norms, we believe in good things. We have things that we respect that we can do. So what we're trying to do is about trying to put all these things in place. We're trying to see how best we could help the young ones. In Western Australia, we team up with universities, TEFs, and other institutions on how we could bring more African people into the educational sector. Second, we're trying to work with the police department on how we could put some of our brothers into the police department. Because we have a saying, a problem needs to be solved by those that know the problem. We know some of our problem. We want to deal with our problem in a very professional and in the diplomatic way. How can we do this thing? It's about unity. Bring our community together. Regardless of which community you're from, Congo, Zambia, Kenya, you name them, we're all one. We're all under the umbrella of Africa. We hope and pray to see more of our brothers. Let's forget about the discrimination because it is a word that they've been using for quite a long time. We need to embrace ourselves. Think about the end goal. What we're going to gain out of this community. What Australia we need to offer to Australia. What Australia has to offer for us. There's a lot of problem. I'm sure if we come together, we unite ourselves, we embrace ourselves, we can make a better nation. We can build here, we can build back home. Now we've seen Australia are focused in Africa. We've seen some of the benefits that are coming from Africa. Some of the bilateral relationship with some country in Africa. When you want, you want to be a successful person, you need to embrace yourself and focus on your end goal. We can't wait until these people tell me what we have to do. Let's unite ourselves. Let's embrace ourselves. I'm sure with all these type of things, we can be together.
once again, my brothers, my sisters, my family, let's have this unity. Let's come together. United we stand, divided we fall.